Okay, this may be a tough ask, <laughs> but the commencement ceremony for the programs within the School of Engineering and Computing, sorry, Computing and Construction Management will now be in order. Please be seated. Good morning. My name is Rob Griffin, and I have had the honor of being the Dean of the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management, what we informally call SECOM, here at Roger Williams since July of 2021. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of SECOM, and of RWU more broadly, I would like to extend the warmest of welcomes to you all as we celebrate the class of 2023. I would first like to take a moment to acknowledge the individuals that are on stage with me. First, Associate Dean Chellick. And the 20 faculty members from our three programs that again are on the stage with me. Would the faculty from the Construction Management Program please stand to be recognized? Thank you. Next, would the faculty from the Computer Science Program please stand to be recognized? Thank you. And finally, would the faculty from the engineering program please stand to be recognized? I would like to take this moment to highlight Professor Jesnak receiving the Excellence in Teaching Award from the university this morning. I would also like to recognize the two SECOM staff members that are in attendance. I have no idea where they are, uh, Jim Dorothy and Mary Grace, Mary Grace Staten. I am confident that the graduating students will attest that these faculty and staff members were absolutely critical in their success here at Roger Williams. As I mentioned, I have been in the Dean's role for less than two years. After a 21-year academic career elsewhere, I came to Roger Williams in summer 2021, and so my perspective is still relatively fresh compared to that of many. I also recognize that you have heard a lot of advice this morning. You don't need to hear any more advice from any of us. You know what you're doing. You're going to go do great things. However, I would like to share a little bit about what I have observed and what I love about being dean here. First, our fantastic students. There you go. You all are highly motivated and insightful. You show grit when confronted with a difficult task and curiosity when faced with new material. At the same time, you are well-rounded and incredibly warm people whose individuality contributes to the vibrancy of the SECOM community. It is an absolute honor to be your dean. Within SECOM, we focus primarily on the undergraduate student experience. Our faculty members know the students beyond a name and student ID number, and are dedicated to their learning and their success. These same faculty members are passionate and creative in their approach to both education and research. RWU is a university on the move, one with clear and unbounded potential, and one that is not constrained by doing things a certain way only because that was the way it has always been done in the past. What I have found over the past two years has underscored that my decision to move to RWU was the correct one. And this is absolutely supported by the quality of the individuals who sit in the first few rows and will graduate here today. Last year at this point, I reflected on my first year as dean and noted that many of my firsts had already occurred. My first matriculation, my first course at RWU, my first advisee meetings, etc. I also noted, of course, that it was my first commencement. Naturally, I commented about how incredibly hectic the first year was, both here at RWU and at home as my family settled into our new surroundings, and that I could hardly believe that the first year was just about over. 
Now, I can hardly believe that this year, too, is just about over. Many people commented to me that last year's graduating class would always be special to me, given that it was my first commencement at RWU. Some even saying that they'd always be the most special. Special? Yes, without a doubt. All classes are. As to most special, I would say not so fast and actually argue that perhaps this class, the class of 2023, would fill that role for me. Yeah. <laughs> this class has an incredible sense of kindness and an incredible sense of community. They welcomed me warmly and they got to see me when I had a better sense of what was going on. I got to know them better as I was no longer the new guy who was trying to figure things out as he went along. This class got to know me, asked about my family, talked with me about my background, and allowed me to get to know them academically, personally, socially, and professionally. For this, this class always will be the most special class to me. Looking forward, I see great things for Seacom, not only because of our tremendous faculty, staff, and continuing students, but because of the path that the students graduating today have paved, forcing our trajectory ever more upward, much like those that graduated before them. Based on their performance here as students, I am confident that all of the Seacom students graduating today will excel in their lives after Roger Williams. So congratulations first to our graduates. Even 30 years later, almost to the day, I remember my graduation day fondly. While it was bittersweet, I recall the huge sense of pride in my accomplishment. I'm sure that you, today's graduates, feel similarly. We wish you all success and joy in life as you venture beyond our campus here in Bristol. Know that you always have a home here and that we will welcome you back with open arms as often as you are able to return. Congratulations also to the families, parents, step-parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, significant others, friends. So many of our students could not have achieved this without you, and you also should be thanked and recognized for your contributions to today's events. I'd like to wrap up this short address with some quick thank yous. First to the Seacom staff and faculties for their support over this somewhat stressful year to the families and friends of our graduates for sharing your students with us for the past few years. What a joy it has truly been. And lastly, again, to the graduating students, the class that will always be most special to me. Thank you again for the warmth with which you welcomed me after what I would say were a few tumultuous years for everyone. As I said, the Seaton class of 2023 will always hold a very special place in my heart. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on, our commencement today will have two main parts. Presentation of the President's Core Values Medallion recipients, as well as a few other recognitions, and the part that everyone truly looks forward to, conferral of the degrees and reading of the names, where everyone has their moment to shine on stage. I will now proceed with the presentation of the President's Core Value Medallion honorees. The President's Core Values Medallion was established to recognize graduating seniors, one from each school, as well as so-called at-large recipients, who best reflect university core values through distinctive contributions supporting the core purpose of a Roger Williams University education, to strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning. It is my honor to announce that we have two Seacom Core Values medallion recipients for the class of 2023. I request that each student recipient stand when I ask them to in order to be recognized. The first recipient of a Core Values Medallion was nominated collectively by me as dean and by the faculty within their academic program. 
This student is one of the top students graduating today and will do so with high honors. This individual has been intimately involved in extracurricular activities within SECOM, taking leadership roles in several of our student clubs within the construction management program. They have been involved in countless admissions recruiting activities, performed student research, participated in community outreach, and led some of the construction management competition teams to high placement in national events. This student has become a central figure in our construction management program and has been identified as a mentor and resource to younger students, including those in high school. On a personal note, I have had this student in class and he was by far one of the most insightful, participatory and engaged students in the course, as well as being kind and humble, a joy to have in the classroom. The student also pursued several internships and externships during his time at Roger Williams, and shortly will begin as a project engineer for Bond Civil and Utility Construction in Providence. Based on their academic and extracurricular excellence and their recognized integrity, it is my pleasure to honor construction management student Alec Kalajaropoulos with a President's Core Values Medallion. The second recipient of a President's Core Values Medallion has excelled in the classroom and will have their degree conferred with highest honors later in our ceremony. They also were nominated collectively by me as Dean and by multiple faculty within their academic program. The student held leadership roles in our Society of Women Engineering chapter, participated in many other activities across campus, tutored through the tutoring center and in the classroom, helped at countless admissions events, and was a RISE scholar. She performed student research, both here at RWU and as part of an REU, which is a research experience for undergraduates program at the University of Virginia. Next year, this student will embark upon doctoral studies in biomedical engineering at the University of Delaware, from whom she received generous and honorific fellowship support. Based on their academic and extracurricular excellence and on their recognized integrity, it is my pleasure to honor engineering student Mackenzie Connor with a President's Core Values Medallion. <laughs> Alec and Mackenzie have exemplified our core values through inclusive, innovative, engaged, experiential, and transformational academic and co-curricular achievement throughout their four years. Congratulations to them and their families, friends, and faculty. In addition to the awarding or the recognition of the President's Core Values Medallions, it is a tradition in SECOM to recognize the graduating student in SECOM and those in each academic program who have had the strongest academic performance over their four years. I will first recognize the top graduating SECOM student and then ask each of the program coordinators to come to the podium in turn to recognize the top performing students in each of our three programs. Students, when your name is announced, please come up the stage via the stairs to your right. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's overall top academic performer from SECOM. From their first semester, this individual's academic performance has been flawless while being involved in multiple on and off campus extracurricular activities, they pursued a degree in construction management. These activities include the Association of General Contractors, the Women in Construction, the Construction Management Club, and the Sustainability Club, as well as doing volunteer and honor society activities. I had the pleasure of interacting with this student over the past two years as they worked as a student assistant in the Dean's office. It was certainly a pleasure to get to know her. This student spent a summer interning with Whiting Turner, where she will be a project engineer after graduation. Please help me in congratulating this year's top graduating student in SECOM, who also is our undergraduate student, Marshall, 
Gina Papagno. I now invite Dr. Tony, Tony Rucco, Program Coordinator for Computer Science, to the podium to recognize the top graduating student in computer science. Thank you, Dean Griffin, and uh, good afternoon to our students and their families. Nick Gross has always been a pleasure to have in class. He's alert and attentive. He asks questions that are direct and that make any class he is in a pleasure to teach. Many students turn their work in on time, which is an expectation. In every case, Nick's submissions are not only on time, but also of the highest quality. Nick is the consummate teammate. He's always ready to jump in to assist. His work is always something that can be relied on to exceed requirements. Nick has been quiet in his time here. He didn't call attention to himself, letting his work do that for him. He is this year's computer science major with the highest GPA. More than that, Nick is the person you want on your team because his standard is excellence. He will bring, to the, he will bring that to every endeavor that he undertakes throughout his career. Will Nick please come to the stage? I now invite Dr. Michael Lemmer, Program Coordinator for Construction Management, to the podium to recognize the top graduating student in construction management. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Dean Griffin. Uh, CM, you gotta be louder than that. I mean, come on. CM. Come on. Uh, it is my honor and privilege to present the top CM award for the class of 2023 to Nate Nichols. Nate? Nate is dedicated and curious student who has shown a passion for construction management in all his academic endeavors. From the early days in the materials and methods lab through the COVID era and finally in Capstone where he has demonstrated a mastery of construction management skills that will require, be required of him in his career. That said, Nate has taken a non-traditional path following graduation Nate will be joining his grandfather and uncle's industrial supply company, H.D. Chase and Company, did I get that right? As a fourth generation family worker, Nate has already looked forward to his future in terms of what additional skills he may need to succeed and has joined the Roger Williams University MBA program to further his knowledge in finance and business practices. I am confident Nate will, Nate will succeed in his chosen profession, but he will always be a CM to me. Good luck, Nate. I guess I'll introduce myself. Hi, I'm Janet Baldwin. I am the Engineering Program Coordinator. <laughs> it was so exciting to give uh, Nate his award. I, um, I welcome everybody here today. I'm very excited to um, see you all here. I um, have the distinct pleasure of giving out the top award for the Engineering Program. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Callum Robbins, this year's top student in the engineering program. <laughs> okay, so I only have about five pages of things to write, read about him because uh, honestly, what a fantastic student. So the Wiley Award is given to our graduating student with the highest overall GPA. That is really only one reason Callum has earned and truly deserves this recognition. 
A gifted scholar, Callum is that rare student who combines technical book smarts with an inner engineering intuition, something that is vital both in college and beyond and that can't be learned from a book or taught in a class, but comes from the person himself. In his classes, he has proved himself uniquely respected and appreciated both by his fellow students and by his professors who praise him for bringing a knowledgeable, poised, and professional attitude to everything he does. Besides doing superbly in his courses, Cal was instrumental in creating the prototype for his senior design project. Maybe you saw it, it was fantastic. Resulting in a working model on the first try, very rare, but Cal also participated in the Kid Win program, wowing his fourth grade students and their teacher who raved about Callum's kindness, patience, and ability to inspire young minds. A future professor of engineering, perhaps? Outside of school and engineering, Cal has traveled the world and is an avid sailor. On the personal level, he truly is a really nice guy, and it's clear to all of us on the faculty that Cal will succeed in whatever his future holds. So congratulations, Cal. We are truly happy to present you with this award. Thank you, Professors Ruko, Emmer, and Baldwin. We now proceed to the chief purpose of these commencement exercises, the conferring of academic degrees upon, upon the class of 2023. Okay, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, everybody, please note that students are not in any order, not by program, not by alphabetical. Okay, so pay attention, okay? <laughs> This is a huge deal for you and for them, and we certainly do not want you to miss it. Okay. Our undergraduate students today wear a hood signifying their graduation with their bachelor's degree and permanent connection to the Roger Williams University community. These hoods bear the RWU colors of white and light blue. Before reading the names, we would also like to acknowledge those undergraduate students who have the distinction of graduating with honors. Would all students graduating cum laude with a cumulative GPA of between 3.4 and 3.6, please stand to be recognized if you are able. Will all students graduating magna cum laude with a cumulative GPA of 3.6 to 3.8, please stand if you are able to be acknowledged. <laughs> and finally, will students graduating summa cum laude with a cumulative GPA in excess of 3.8, please stand to be congratulated if you are able. Your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended, and we are all very proud of your accomplishments. We will now begin the conferral of degrees. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in engineering, computer science, and construction management please rise? I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study by virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Corey Leiden, engineering, mechanical. Max Daniel Noonan, 
Engineering, Mechanical. Scott James Massey, Engineering, Mechanical. Luke C. Wing, Engineering, Mechanical. Daniel Coy Danak, Engineering, Electrical. Russell P. Quinn, Engineering, Electrical. Matthew John Fortin, Engineering, Electrical. Tyler James Roy, Engineering, Civil. David Achill Fasolino, Engineering, Mechanical. Bianca Elizabeth Pino, Engineering, Mechanical. Tyler Thomas Pratt, Engineering, Mechanical. Katerina Marie Licio, Engineering, Civil, Cum Laude. George Zachary Hyam, Engineering, Mechanical. Callum Scott Robbins, Engineering, Mechanical, Summa Cum Laude. Luke Anthony Calabrese, Engineering, Mechanical, Cum Laude. Gina Elizabeth Papagno, Construction Management, Summa Cum Laude. Jennifer Helen Kroon, Engineering, Mechanical, Magna Cum Laude. Keith Frank Sherry, Engineering, Mechanical. Brian Alejandro Guevara, Engineering, Mechanical. Anderson Aristides Lopez, Engineering, Electrical. Patrick Dennison Aldrich, Engineering, Mechanical. Kyler Hayner, Engineering, Mechanical, Magna Cum Laude. Joseph Giovanni Lombardo, Engineering, Mechanical. Alexander Lochner Bertoni, Engineering, Mechanical Cum Laude. Antal Lee, Engineering, Electrical. Patrick Junior Mawole Barboza, Engineering, Electrical. Cameron Michael Dutra, Engineering, Civil. Quentin T. Berry, Engineering, Mechanical, Cum Laude. Logan Luis Bolarino, Engineering, Mechanical. Santiago Manuel Armas, Engineering Electrical. Kieran Patrick Leary, Engineering Mechanical. Ian Ramirez, Engineering Computer. Nicholas Mark Delaney, Construction Management. Victor Wilhelm Larson, Engineering Mechanical. 
Ian Donald Sagers, Engineering Civil Summa Cum Laude. David Frank Sales, Engineering Civil Summa Cum Laude. Todd J. Furnier, Engineering Civil. Parker L. Yuri, Engineering Civil. Jason Richard Ho, Engineering Civil. Dean Kaliri, Engineering Civil. Benjamin Matthew Tapley, Construction Management Cum Laude. Joseph Ronald Lavoie, Construction Management. William Moody, Construction Management. <laughs> Sam Usher, Construction Management. <laughs> Lauren Rebecca Duras, Engineering Mechanical. <laughs> Jamie Nicole Barth, Engineering Mechanical Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Mackenzie Connor, Engineering Custom Biomedical Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Eric Roland Coviello, Construction Management. Christopher Joseph Neubauer, Construction Management. <laughs> Nicholas Richard Ranconi, Construction Management. <laughs> William Richard Cleary, Construction Management. Ryan M. Dowhart, Construction Management. <laughs> Matthew Stephen Anderson, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Ian James Swanson, Construction Management. Nicholas Michael Courtney, Engineering Civil Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Aidan Michael Bennett, Engineering Civil. <laughs> Travis LaJoy, Engineering Civil. Connor David Harrington, Engineering, Computer, and Electrical, Cum Laude. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob Andrew Sugarman, Engineering, Electrical, and Computer, Summa Cum Laude. Yeah. Nicholas Edward Gross, Computer Science, Custom, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> William Kevin Golombeski, Engineering, Mechanical, Cum Laude. <laughs> Raymond John Serra, Engineering, Mechanical. <laughs> Spencer W. Majinski, Computer Science Custom. <laughs> Brian David Carlson, Construction Management. <laughs> J. 
Joseph and Th Anthony Catelli, Construction Management. Jacob Thomas Balzac, Construction Management. Mason Alexander Wilcox, Construction Management. Jacob Michael Stevens, Construction Management. Elias Michael Carr, Construction Management. Morgan James Keeley, Computer Science Custom. Thomas J. McGregor, Computer Science Custom. Ella Costigan, Computer Science Data Science. Rachel Marie Perino, Computer Science Custom. Allison R. Haberlin, Computer Science Custom Magna Cum Laude. Kimberly Margaret Quaranta, Computer Science Data Science Magna Cum Laude. Cassandra Pagan Deploy, Magna Cum Laude, Computer Science and Marine Biology. <laughs> Peter Donald Puglisi, Construction Management. <laughs> Gregory Van Tocket, Construction Management. Christian James Chung, Construction Management, Cum Laude. <laughs> Alyssa Tuan Forster, Construction Management. <laughs> Bailey Elizabeth Emerald, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. Guwanir Ruda, Construction Management. <laughs> Casey O'Hara Brennan, Construction Management. <laughs> Kyle Robert Sulacum, Construction Management. <laughs> Brooke Elizabeth Mackerlane, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Alexis Rose Riccardi, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Dominic Antonio Iengo, Construction Management. Nico F. Prospero, Construction Management. <laughs> Matthew Joseph Caruso, Computer Science. Human Control. John P. Tyne, Construction Management. Michael David Pagnati, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. Anthony Joseph Franco, Computer Science. Vu Huynh, Computer Science, Custom Cum Laude. Oswald R. Burgos, Computer Science, Human Control. <laughs> Zachary D. Wakefield, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kevin L William Noyes, Construction Management, Summa Cum Laude. 
Audrey Jane Corcoran, Construction Management, Summa Cum Laude. Jack William Costello, Construction Management. Brent Michael Creighton, Construction Management. Colin Wraith, Construction Management. Robert Allen Rain, Construction Management. Nicholas Joseph Delbon, Construction Management. Luke Arthur Carey, Construction Management. Roberto Francisco Terran Guerrero, Construction Management. Andrew Lawrence Kawiat, Construction Management. Peter Angelo Tringali, Construction Management. Edward J. Toriano, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. Patrick Joseph Lane, Construction Management, Cum Laude. Alec Kalajaropoulos, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. Vinit Konstantin Srinivasan, Construction Management. George Joseph Smith, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. Brandon P. Smith, Construction Management. Trevor Joseph Crooks, Construction Management, Magna Cum Laude. Nathan Royce Nichols, Construction Management, Summa Cum Laude. Okay, so I have a little bit of a tradition. I'm gonna ask all of the graduates to stand up so that I can take a selfie with all of you. So. Okay, don't go anywhere yet, stay up. So, so we recognize, um, that many of you had a lot of help in getting here. And, and we have this fancy new toy uh, that allows us to take a 360 degree video. Um, and so when Dr. Anderson is gonna give us the signal, what I want all of the graduates to do is to thank someone, whether that's yourself or a faculty member or a family member, that helped get you where you are today by cheering really, really loudly. Go! So congratulations to all of our graduates. You may be seated. This concludes the commencement exercises for the 2023 graduates of the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management at Roger Williams University. Please stay well, enjoy the rest of your day. 
On behalf of the university, thank you all for joining us here today and celebrating these commencement exercises. Please stand if you are able and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional, including our graduates, have exited the tent. Congratulations again to the class of 2023.